So I know I have not uploaded in a while, but a lot of the reasons why is because I haven't been able to get my hands on some of the RTX 30 series of graphics cards, and I refuse, absolutely refuse, to pay any scalpers. Anyway, we got one. All right, so uh, this is the MSI G75. As you've probably seen, we are going to get this thing unboxed. I'm only gonna really unbox it and take a first look at this because I do want to give it a good gaming review. Actually, check it out, see how it does. And I'm not gonna unbox it all here. We will get this out of the box first, the main box. And then we can go ahead and do an act for the full unboxing of this and see what's all in it and everything else. Anyway, what is in here is the Intel i7 10th generation 10750H. Oh my God, this is a lot heavier than I was expecting it to be. It is 2.6 gigahertz processor. And I have to say that uh, this is not bad. Uh, it has the RTX 3060 in it. So it should perform close to my RTX 2070 laptop. And hopefully this video, uh, or I should say next video, when I actually do some benchmarking on it, you'll be able to decide if you want to go with the RTX 2070 or the 3060. Uh, they're not that much available. So I was lucky. I was able to get it while it was uh, just coming out. It was up for about 20, 24 hours around there. There was a lot of people that were, uh, you know, reserving it at micro centers. I will put some links on Amazon, hopefully that you guys will be able to get this through there or through, you know, somewhere close. I'll, I'll try to find different places that you can get it from. All right, so normally, like I've always mentioned before, I am terrible at unboxings, but we're getting better. We're gonna try to get better anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing unboxed and see what we all have. First thing I want to say what is actually in this one. Like I was saying before, it is the i7 10th generation 1075 or 1750H 2.6 gigahertz processor with the RTX 2060, six gigabyte. And we also have 16 gigabytes of RAM in this one. Um, one thing about that is that we, true gaming, you know, this is like only true gaming. Just to let you know, because it says it on the box. No, but anyway, um, this only has 16 gigabytes of RAM. The RTX 2070 one that I had before was 32 gigabytes of RAM. So you do get a bit more uh, RAM and it is a little bit cheaper. That is one thing that I, I'm trying to uh, get through these is that the 2070 is a cheaper laptop and it is an older version, but I think performance wise, you're kind of still getting a little bit better maybe with the 2070 or maybe with this one. I don't know, because like I said, this is my first time trying this thing. So let's get all this out of here. Stop wasting the time. Uh, see what we get for extras. This is really weird for me to do. <laughs> I'm like hugging this thing. All right, so what we got in here should just have our power and whatnot. Yeah. Just power. So, as far as unboxing laptops, they are probably the most simplistic ones you can do <laughs> because it's sometimes literally just the laptop. Um, here is the laptop. Let's go ahead and take a look what else is in here first. Like I don't really do the lap, the, the unboxings, as you can tell by my channel. I'm gonna see if I can do this. <laughs> All right, so F3 recovery key. What? Hot key recovery function. I have no idea what this is for. This is completely new to me. Oh, that's so you can lock up, lock your laptop. Okay. See what we also have in here. The rest of the power. The size of the laptop is 17 inch. 
or 17.3 inches. So it is much larger than the RTX 2070 that I have, which is a 15.6. All right. And that I, I can say is definitely a worthwhile uh, difference because I, I do like having a larger uh, screen. But a lot of times I'll take the laptop and put it with the uh, like a monitor or something like that. Anyway, well, let's take a look at this sucker. Yep, and that is a laptop. <laughs> That's with you, man. That's with you. Um, one of the things that got me to choose this one is one that you know is comparable with the 2070, but this should be fully RGB. So it does have a uh, one terabyte SSD in it, where the other one only had a 512 gigabyte. The my other one, I actually changed out the SSD to a two terabyte because I just kept running out. Uh, you do get Microsoft uh, Windows 10 Home Edition, and you get uh, Bluetooth 5.1 on here. So take a closer look at this. This is not bad at all. Uh, this definitely seems a lot bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and around a little bit here uh, we can take a look at what we have for ports let's go ahead and do what we always want to do let's peel that right off yes all that static electricity right on a laptop is that perfect or what I, I don't understand why they do that. It, it drives me nuts. Well, uh, let's go ahead. We should take a look at the second camera here. Uh, this is why I actually put up two, two cameras. But we do have a few nice little things on here. This should have USB uh, or Firewire, uh, sorry, Thunderbolt. We have a hardwire. Yeah, let's see here, okay. So we have our hard wire, our, thunder, our Thunderbolt in here. We also have a USB 3.0. I'll have to double check the specs. All right, so I do need to clarify a few things. There is not a Thunderbolt 3. It is only the USB type C that is in this laptop. And I want to also mention that this is the RTX 2070 HP Omen from 2019 and not the uh, 2020 or 2021 with the 4K display. It is the regular uh, uh, 1080p full HD. So let's go ahead and get back to it. We have headphones in and a microphone in, which I use all the time. And this looks like our locking mechanism. Yes, that's the locking mechanism there. <clears throat> Take a look on the other side. We have a, oh, this is interesting. So we have, uh, on this side, we do have the HDMI and then we have two USB ports, but I am not seeing anything for, oh, let's look in the back. Oh, yeah, we don't have anything for display port. So if we wanted to go with display port, we would end up having to go with the uh, Thunderbolt port. That kind of sucks because I do like having that on the HP Omen. But let's go ahead and fire this thing up. We have this here yet. So this is a hope that it actually has power to it. If not, we are going to plug it in. All right, so we are back up and it is going. So this does show that it does have RGB, full RGB running through, running through the keyboard. That I kind of like compared to the HP Omens that I've been uh, running with lately, because those ones you definitely don't get uh, RGB, like, uh, you know, keyboard and stuff like that. And I like having it. It's not a necessity or anything like that. Another thing that I, I do appreciate is having a number pad. It, so if you're one of the ones that, that have to have that number pad on your keyboard, yeah, this is going to be the one to go. Mainly you can get this on here because it is using a, six, a 17 inch uh, screen. The 15 inches normally will take, keep that out because there's just not enough uh, real estate on the keyboard itself. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get this thing fired up. Like I said, this is just gonna be the unboxing for this. Um, 
it is not a lot we can actually go through. I hope <laughs> that this will run better than the RTX uh, 2070. Anyway, that is all we're going to do for this. I decided I'm going to you know, jump in here. Uh, tell me what you think of this laptop. If you watched any of my other videos with the 2070, the uh, 2019 version, as I was mentioning, uh, this one I do like. I like having the extra screen to it. And there's just a few things that I'm not too keen about yet. We have started uh, doing uh, some gameplay, the wife and I. She's running on the 26, 2070 and I'm running on the 3060 and kind of giving a comparison. So far, it's very even, but uh, we'll see with a little bit more uh, testing with these two. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button and definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Y'all take care and happy gaming.